So the release of iOS 16 Beta 2 is here and it comes with some minor tweaks mainly to the lock screen. Now if you're watching this wanting to check out iOS 16 at the moment, you're going to need an Apple developer account which runs at $99 a year. Otherwise this beta is going to release sometime in mid to late July so you just have to wait. Okay now let's take a look at these new changes with the lock screen. And the first thing is the lock screen gallery which has been redesigned. You can now swipe up on lock screen cards to delete them instead of long pressing on cards. There's also a feature called pinch to zoom which I absolutely love. Now this feature works on either the lock screen or wallpaper and you can get a close up feel without distorting the quality of the background. Now you can see I'm going to zoom in here on this Batman Superman wallpaper and you know when you zoom in on Superman for example and set it it's not distorted at all it looks great. Uh, the third new feature is a uh, filter feature which is probably the coolest in uh, uh, beta 2 here it's the biggest draw in my opinion um, but the filters here you've got duo tone color wash they're called they also come alongside natural black and white um, but it's honestly really cool and I'm gonna come back to that uh, as far as widgets go um, surprisingly I don't think any have been added however I think the alarm clock option is new because I don't remember seeing it uh, on the first beta um, but yeah let's take a look at these filters one more time so um, super cool guys this was just something I noticed right away so I'm gonna pull it back up so we can kind of take a look at them Okay, so we've got our lock screen, then we got our wallpaper. All right, yeah, it should work now. Yeah, very cool with the filters. I think this is just an awesome, just an awesome thing to do on uh, iOS 16 for the lock screens. Okay, um, lastly, really the only other thing in my opinion worth pointing out has to do with the Apple Wallet and basically there's an Apple Cash feature that's been tweaked. The interface now shows the balance and options for sending uh, and request buttons. Then the Apple Card interface and the Apple Wallet now shares a recap of your daily, weekly, monthly um, rewards and earnings. And for now guys, that's really all the worthy things to talk about on iOS 16 beta 2. What I'm really hoping to see is a lot more widgets being added on future beta releases, which I'm sure is going to happen. Of course, like I said, if you guys wanted to check this beta out, you're going to need a paid developer account, which is 99 bucks a year. And it's not cheap, obviously. Otherwise expect, uh, iOS 16 beta to release in mid to late July for free. Okay. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm going to update some other iPhones so we could, you know, check it out again. Thanks for watching it. We'll see y'all in the next video.